Happy Monday, everyone. Father Ron here. Starting with today's prayer, we've expanded the sound a bit to include all of us here in the chapel in prayer, not just Jerry and myself. That's how it started. It was just Jerry and me. But then we grew in size with our contributors who are now with us. So the podcast will reflect all of that. So we're also introducing two new faith companions to the God Minute who you'll be hearing from starting this week. I'm really excited. I think you're really going to enjoy them. The first up this week is Sister Kara. She can explain who she is. (laughs) But wait, there's more. We're now on Facebook and Twitter, for those of you who care. So if you have either of those apps and want to listen from there, just search for The God Minute on either Twitter, Facebook, or both, and follow us. Each morning, it will be delivered waiting for you there in your feeds. So lastly, for those on the God Moments app, we've tweaked that as well to include the ability to share the day's prayer with friends via email, Twitter, Facebook, etc. So the name is also changed for the app. Instead of God Moments, it's now The God Minute. So lots of you were asking for that clarity. All right, folks, sorry for taking so much time, but I hope you enjoy the fuller sound of our God Minute prayer as we continue to really try and respond to over 3,000 of you who listen and pray each day with us. So wonderful. How wonderful is that? And remember, feedback is always appreciated. The God Minute at gmail.com. Okay, sorry for all this time. God bless you. Thanks for listening. Let's pray. Thanks for being with us in prayer today. I'm Father Ron Hoy, and this is the God Minute. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Lord, open my lips, and And my my mouth mouth shall declare your your grace. grace. Psalm 46, A Haven God is our refuge and our strength, a haven in times of trouble. Therefore, we can be calm though the earth shakes, though the nations change, and though the sea rises. Our trust is in the Holy One who is making the heavens and the earth, who is with us in our own hearts. See the miracles that are a part of our lives, and the longings for peace and justice in our hearts, and the way we can make our lives abundant in nearly any circumstance. God whispers to us, Be still and know that I am God. I am with you to the ends of the universe and through all time. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever, Amen. A reading from the letter of St. James. Count it all joy, my brethren, when you meet various trials. For you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness. And let steadfastness have its full effect, that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. The word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be be to God. God. Who remembers learning the scientific method in school? You observe something, form a question about it, form a hypothesis, test it, look at the data from the test, and form conclusions. It's been the basic way we've done scientific research since the 17th century, but it turns out James had the inklings of the method hundreds of years before. I've loved science ever since I was young. It's a joy to be able to look at creation, to understand it more fully, to see its complexity, and to learn from it. As I've progressed in my faith, I've also grown to love what science can teach me about God. 
my experience of awe contemplating the vastness of the universe or the complexity of the tiniest cells is an experience of awe of God. There are spiritual things to be learned from and experience in science, but there are some practical ones too. One thing you hear commonly from those who are experimenting and researching is the joy of testing and particularly the joy of failure. No scientist worth any time expects every experiment to go perfectly. A hypothesis is made to be broken. What a perspective to value failure just as much as success. Why value the failures? Well, every failure teaches us something. When you expect A to happen and B does instead, there's something to learn. There's new information to be found. Something changed the conditions. Things are more complex and behave differently than expected. And that's why the scientific method is actually a cycle. Every question that is tested leads to conclusions that then lead to more questions. The method is perfected not by following each step exactly, but by keeping the cycle going. About trying and failing or succeeding, but feeling the motivation to take that information and try again and again and again to learn more. And this should sound familiar when it comes to our faith journey. We're not aiming for a single declaration of faith that is perfect enough to be the only one we need for the rest of our lives. We are living a life, following a path that requires a new yes all the time. And presents new and varied challenges every day. Following this path meeting challenges, and finding God in whatever the result may be, then meeting the next challenge and the next with resolve. That's the scientific method, but it's also faith. May we greet the challenges and questions and struggles of our day with joy, and may we find steadfastness in God no matter the result. Let us collect our hearts and our voices and pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but But deliver deliver us from from evil. evil. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father in heaven, from the days of Abraham and Moses, you have formed a people in the image of your Son. Bless us with the gift of your kingdom. May we serve you with our every desire and show love for one another. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And And with with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. So glad you joined us in prayer today. Go forth and bless the Lord God in everything. And we'll see you tomorrow.